Welcome to Best Incorporated Soldering Tip of the Month. My name is Norman Meir and I'm a Certified Master Instructor for Soldering Skills. This month's tip is the removal of solder bridges on gullwing leaded components. We'll be reworking the solder joints to the IPC 610 Class 1, 2, and 3 target conditions. I will be utilizing a 302 no clean flux and the soldering tip I've chosen is a large hoof tip. It will cover the foot and land slash pad area as I am showing you here. Next thing you want to do is turn in your iron so that after you have proper orientation of the bridge area, your tip will be at proper operating temperature to get a quality wetting action between board, part, and the solder tip also. Apply flux using a small needle size flux dispenser or you could also use a flux pin. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to clean tip of any residue against a moist sponge and ensure that you're working with a clean tip. Lightly place the tip on top of the solder bridge gently and just sweep it out just like so. And now you've successfully removed a solder bridge. Okay, now we've got another solder bridge here also. Again, apply flux. Make sure your tip is very clean. What you're going to do is come down gently, lay it right on top of that bridge, and just sweep it out just like so. Now you've successfully removed that solder bridge. The next thing you're going to want to do is to inspect to make sure there's no more solder bridges. After that, you want to use alcohol and chem wipes to clean the area. Make sure you've got a nice heel fillet. For class 3 standards, it's at least one lead thickness plus G, which is a solder fillet thickness. And there you go. Looks good. Ready to ship.